Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you a message of Our Lady to Gisela Cardia on February 24, 2022. Let us begin with St. Francis' prayer, asking for wisdom, discernment, and guidance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of our minds. Give us a right faith, a firm hope, and a perfect charity. Fill us, Lord, with understanding and knowledge, so that we may always and in all things act according to your holy will. Amen. Our Lady said, My children, thank you for bending your knees in prayer and for responding to my call in your hearts. My daughter, I know and share your sorrow. I, the mother of love and sorrow, suffer greatly because of not having been heard. Otherwise, all this would not have happened. I have repeatedly asked for the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart, but my cry of pain has remained unheard. My daughter, this war will bring death and destruction. Those living will not be enough to bury the dead. My children, pray for the consecrated who have abandoned charity, true faith, and morality, desecrating the body of my son, driving the faithful to tremendous errors, and this will be the cause of terrible suffering. My children, pray, pray, pray very much. Now I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us answer our Heavenly Mother's request to share Heaven's messages far and wide. Please share, like, subscribe, and click on the little bell so that you may be notified of the latest Heavenly messages as they come in. And please consider joining our channel's 24-7 prayer room titled Rosary of the Seven Sorrows of Mary in reparation to the Sacred Hearts to pray for the Holy Father and for a deep conversion of leaders in every capacity including in government, in the church, in business, in schools, and in the family, that they may seek the divine will in all things and have the conviction to fulfill it. May God bless you and keep you.